Welcome to spring 2015. Very exciting moment. Um, everybody always wants to know where we start. And actually, we start with our mood boards. And this season, we were looking at some very beautiful Chinese lands landscape paintings. And then we created the mood boards around those. Um, so slightly oriental feeling, but changing that into very contemporary fabrics. This was our first piece of artwork of a landscape. And then you can see how that has translated immaculately into this very innovative new piece of wall covering that we're really proud of, actually, because the marks, the colours, they're all exactly as they would have been painted uh, by Sandy or Helen. I think that's what's unique about Designers Guild is that everything is painted by hand in the studio first. That's the way of really getting this sort of very vibrant feeling within the colour work and within the print marks. It makes it, it really makes a difference. And the colour palette, whether it's these sort of rather beautiful yellows and greens, soft watery blues, or really important to our collections, and neutrals and greys, you know, that's all very important. Those tones really make a difference. They can be delicate or they can be heavy, and we're always searching for the right balance. So we've seen the studio and, and the process of making the fabrics and this to me is the most important part because it's how the fabrics, the wallpapers, the finished products, the furniture actually works in a lifestyle situation and that's always been my absolute passion, the lifestyle and, and, how, and how comfortable and innovative it is. You need a lot of plain fabrics, a lot of weaves, a lot of every different ingredient to make a whole space come alive, actually. Mood boards are extremely important and useful element in choosing a scheme. And we always put these together for our clients in the showroom so that they can actually get in, in one board a visual interpretation of what their room's going to be. Some people associate us with strong colour but actually neutrals form at least a third of our collection. And some people only think of us as pattern, but planes and textures are also a huge part of, of the build-up of our collection. A wallpaper like this Chinese trellis, really soft and subtle, you know, will suit a completely different person than the large landscapes that we've seen. And, and talking about neutral colours, they are very important. Um, they can be lively, they can be soft, you know, shades of grey mixed with ecru and white, shades of white, all terribly important vocabulary and one that is in absolutely every one of our collections. Our plain collections are a really important part of our story, whether it's fabric, wallpaper, throws, cushions, and recently, this season, we've just added 50 new plain colours of rugs. And that actually makes the home very easy to live in. A moment of thinking pink. In, the, in this area, you can really see this mixture of linens, of silk, chunky linen, white, white on the sofa, and these really beautifully painted flowers, sort of reminding us of uh, English countryside or Chinese garden or whatever. But the, the, the movement of the flowers, I think, is, is really important. We saw plum blossom being painted in the studio, and here you can see it on a cushion, and this time we've added some little embroidered marks. To just makes it even more gorgeous. <laughs> A real favourite of ours is our shaded linen, both wallpaper and fabrics, called Sarai. And now we've added trailing rose to that and got these beautiful roses that trail down the shaded linen and the same on the wallpaper. And also Summer Palace, which is beautiful little fronds of wisteria, but it's all going onto the shaded surface. It's, it's fun. <laughs>